Hello everyone and welcome back to Art Alec Heart. And in this video of Drawing Digitally 101, I want to share probably the biggest thing that uh, helped me uh, fall in love with digital art. I had seen people drawing um, digitally uh, and then they would pick a line and they would color just that line. It was perfectly colored. And I thought, oh, how do they color that? Like the line art, like if you look at animation, the line art is it's not just black, it's like different colors. Um, and how do, you, how do you achieve that? Well, I'm going to show you how to do that in this video. So here I have a, a drawing that I did for possibly an upcoming uh, drawing page in the future, I'm not sure yet, but I'll use this as an example. So I have my sketch on this level down here. On the second level, I have the line art. And again, if you have any questions about layers, I will leave a link in the description box below where you can uh, look at my video that I did all about layers. But I have the layer for my sketch. I have the layer for my line art. I'm gonna go back down and select the layer that has my line art on it. Now, if you look right up here at the top of this box, you're gonna see a couple of different options. And there's one like that locks it, that means you can't edit anything on that and I use that a lot if I have a layer that I definitely don't want to mess with accidentally I will lock that layer but right over here is a little layer that has like a little checker box and a lock on it and you want to check that and what that means is it will lock or any part of the canvas that isn't drawn on now down here at the bottom layer I have a white canvas background but if you erase that you're going to see that this is a transparent layer so this checkerboard kind of pattern represents being transparent so anything on this layer the line art layer that is transparent is locked it means I can't do anything on that but when you zoom in the line art I can edit this now so this is what I can do I can choose any color and because this line has been drawn on this layer, it'll color this line, but it won't color on either side of the line because that's transparent. Let me go ahead and reactivate my background layer. And you'll see even with the background layer activated, it doesn't color anything but just the line art. So when you're doing coloring on the computer and you want to just color that line art and get that really cool like effect, um, you can do that. I don't know why I'm giving her blue skin, but I am. It also works with erasing. I can erase this. Now, if I bring this pin size up really, really large, I can go through here and do a full color. So what if I wanted this line art to be all one solid color? I want to change the color. This is one way that you could do this. Just go through here and color it. That's just like that. So let's say I want a little gradient color through there. I can add that kind of nice gradient onto the, the actual picture, gradient that color up, and it's just gonna color the line art. So as you guys can see, this very small little technique opens up a huge realm of possibilities um, uh, for coloring not just line art, but other portions of your picture. So if there's a part on your layer that you just wanna color that, you don't wanna go outside of the lines, just click that little lock box over the checkered box, and that will lock that the layer transparencies for you. Um, so let me know in the comments section below, had you ever heard of this technique before? Or also let us know about any fun techniques or hints that you know about uh, drawing digitally. Leave those in the comment section below. If you're brand new to my channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button so that you don't miss out on any future videos. And as always, thanks for hanging out with me. And until next time, God bless you guys, and we'll see you later. Bye-bye.